There are two RTAs in the SQ, one in the meter screen and one that can be displayed on the PEQ or GEQ processing pages. The RTA in the meter screen is fed either from the PAFL bus or a fixed channel. It can be used in 31 band stereo or 61 band mono mode. Each bar shows the signal level at that frequency and the most prominent frequency is displayed red to quickly and clearly identify issues such as feedback. Controls at the bottom of the screen adjust the averaging and peak settings, and there is an option for low frequency damping too, which allows the metering to better represent the actual output energy of the low end. To see the PEQ RTA, touch the RTA button when viewing any PEQ in the processing screen. This can be fed by either the selected channel or fixed channel, and the follow this device switch can be set separately on the console and any instances of the SQ Mixpad app to choose which channel selections will be followed. There are options to view the RTA as bars or a line. You can independently adjust the settings of the max or peak indicators, and you can also trim the overall level and change the opacity. Once set, just touch the PEQ button to get back to the PEQ controls. The RTA in the GEQ screen works in a similar way, with the metering shown for each frequency you can control, making any adjustments quick and easy. This can also be shown and controlled on the faders by pressing the fader flip key. Now the chromatic channel metering shows the level of signal at each frequency, and the most prominent frequency is shown with the red peak LEDs, 